So the latest outlook for winter by AccuWeather does show a really cold and stormy pattern. However, it's really important to keep in mind that everyone has outlooks. A lot of companies do this. And really, the takeaway is it's too early to tell. La Nina has a big impact globally on winter weather in particular, the water temperatures in the Pacific. And so that colder water really impacts several factors. Typically, uh, when we have a La Nina, we'd see more of a stormy pattern develop in the winter, especially in places like the Pacific Northwest. We'd also have more Arctic air coming into play. And right now, a lot of the indications are that we'll have at least some kind of a weak La Nina. However, uh, it hasn't really developed yet, so we have to wait and see. NOAA is predicting that maybe we'll have a warmer winter. So, you know, the science is getting better, but it's just not there yet. In fact, when we look three, four months out, it's really difficult to say exactly what the weather pattern will do. I was talking with another meteorologist and he compared this to looking at the season in advance before it starts. It's kind of fun to make those predictions, but until you really start playing, it's pretty difficult to say exactly what's going to happen. It does look like they're all in a pretty good agreement that the Southeast and the Southwest are going to be milder this winter. In terms of what that means and whether or not that rare snowstorm will happen in a place like Atlanta, it's almost impossible to say because just because we are in a warmer pattern doesn't mean we won't have occasional days where it's cold or days where, you know, we could see ice. Snow is notoriously hard to forecast in advance. Out winter weather in general is very difficult to forecast because so many variables come into play at different levels in the atmosphere, whether something comes in the form of ice or snow or sleet. And even one to two degrees in temperature can make all the difference. 